Let's give this a shot. Good morning, I believe it's day 130. Uh, I'll just stand and talk because my phone attachment part is squeaking like crazy lately when I move. But today we are, we have big milestones. We are passing the 1,300 mile marker and we're entering New Jersey today. We're gonna go by Stroudsburg into Delaware Water Gap and then into New Jersey. Pretty crazy. I never, I actually flew into New Jersey once but never walked in. So this will be a new one. Um, it's like six miles to Stroudsburg. So I'm gonna go there and uh, get a couple of things for a resupply for tonight. And I'm gonna stay at the Mohican Outdoor Center, which is in New Jersey, not too far. It's like a pay campsite. Um, I'm just gonna stay there because they have bear boxes there and um, showers. <laughs> I did bring a bar of soap from the hotel. So I'm gonna shower up nicely. I it just, you sweat so much, you know, and um, I just, I'm just, like you, you saw last night, I have a duplex now. It's a brand new duplex. And uh, I got that so Tina and I can both sleep in there. And I don't want a bear ripping it open. So I'm gonna <laughs> always put all my stuff in a bear box. Um, so that's a plan for today. And while I'm there, I can also charge up some things because I, I heard there's like a hiker area. So you can hang out there. So, so that's a plan. Um, I think it's gonna be like 17 miles. It's always annoying because it's far out. It's between maps. So like I'll have to show you two different screenshots right here to show you what's going on. That's elevation profile for today. I don't even know what it is. It's probably not bad, so it's okay. But let's get going and uh, six miles to Stroudsburg. Big day, big day. Hiking along the uh these things popped up. It's three supports. And I'm guessing a fourth one for some kind of tower or something. And it looks like stairs, but it's in a wrong location. It's very odd, but back on the trail this way, almost at Stroudsburg. So can't wait. Actually, yeah, I can't wait just because it's New Jersey soon. All right. The trail looks really nice this way. We went down for about 0.2 miles before we realized we were way off. So we had to come way back up, all climb. So we put these logs right here. Trail goes over there. Hopefully future people won't make the same mistake I did. We did and hike 0.4 extra miles and elevation, lots of elevation. Sad part is we got to go back down basically to where we were. Uh, we saw a stream and that's the spring that we're going to. Uh, the sign of AT is like an arrow, you know, it's yeah. like a shelter yep. but an arrow too. A and T. So up ahead, doesn't that look like a trail? And the AT is actually over there, except for that white blaze. It doesn't even look like a trail, it's overgrown in, so... Crunch made a little arrow as well, so... Okay, let's go back down. Yeah. By the way, this is Swiss Crunch. Tina hiked with him in uh, the real one, not the fake one. <laughs> the real one in PCT and on the CDT last year he did it and I met him a bunch of times as well. In fact, one of the funniest things is I went to go drop Tina off at a trailhead and then I was going to just hang out there for like an hour and uh, see if there any hikers came through, give him a ride. And as soon as I pull up, I see him just standing there and he just got there. Oh, and, lander, yeah, yeah we didn't see you forever before that, so that was just incredible. And then the second time in Lincoln, remember? Here we are to the end of Far Out's Pennsylvania map. This is Delaware Drive. This is the uh, oh, I forgot the name, we just talked about it. But this is where Crunch is staying tonight and I'm hiking on. But uh, now I get to switch over to the New Jersey, New York map permanently. I don't have to keep switching back and forth. I'm gonna go over to the Outfitter and uh, get some food. Basically a small resupply and get a soda. I'm super thirsty. Well, I want something cold, refreshing. I got a big climb now, so. We're heading to the edge of the woods outfitter. We went to the place marking far out, but I guess they moved. <laughs> so far out is wrong. It's across the street where all these kayaks and white water rafts are. Uh, let's see what they got inside. 
play a porta potty smells like bleach already. We're here at the Outfitters. I got some bars and I got a noon and a Pepsi, cherry Pepsi. And uh, I still have 10.6 miles to go and big climb here. I always wait till it's about noon before I start my big climb because I like the heat a lot. No, but once I finish this, I'll get going. I just left the edge of the woods outfitter. What's interesting is the uh, outfitter, it seems more focused towards what, like boat rentals and stuff, white water rafting and ra raft rentals and bike rentals. Not much in the woods, but they did have a okay selection of bars, not the best at all. And it had a decent selection of freeze dried meals and uh, a good variety. I didn't even see the top row <laughs> when I was there. It's like, gee, that's weird. They don't have any mountain house, but they're all on the top because I couldn't see them. But they did have some sodas. So I got a cherry Pepsi. Um, their fuel gas canisters are actually decently priced. $6 for a small one. It's always so weird because you get the bigger one is twice the size, but it only costs $2 more. And uh, for me, I'm heading back to the trail. I gotta first get to the trail. I have 10.6 miles more to go. And then uh, I should be at the campground. And I could take a shower and have a nice clean sleep tonight. I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow, so I gotta go to sleep early. And uh, I don't know. I think tomorrow I'm only gonna do like 15 miles. I'm going to another shelter area. And I'll be at High Point State Park where I'm gonna meet the people who are gonna drop me off a resupply package. But it's gonna be interesting days. I'm kind of glad I had to adjust my plans. I was gonna do like 2021s, but now it's 14, 16 or something like that. Not too hard. It's always funny in towns, you don't really know where the trail is going. So you just have to keep a constant lookout for these white blazes, usually on telephone poles. So I know we turned somewhere, I don't know, but we're gonna go across the river. It's a long bridge across the river because it's not perpendicular. It goes like the longest way possible. Does that look like a stage to you? Facing the street? Oh, wait. I guess it faces this hill. Maybe people sit along this hill. Pennsylvania level complete. Whew, I didn't realize just before entering New Jersey and after you spend a lot of time just out in the sun and uh, I'm just before the trailhead now in New Jersey, a lot of road walking, but this parking lot is jam packed. I think there's, yeah, there's one, maybe two spots, three. There's a bunch of spots where a motorcycle would fit, but not a car, but only two spots, one spot really. But it's a super busy parking lot. Super busy trailhead considering it's uh, Monday. I might have to use a porta potty that's right here. I should have used the pit toilets behind me. But I thought, you know, once I get on trail, but I think there's gonna be probably like 60, 100 people on trail. I don't even know where this goes. Where is everyone going? Is there something really spectacular up there? Everyone's going to? I don't know. Pit toilet it is though. It's always fun going into these things with the uh, pack on. It's uh tight quarters. Here's a reenactment of how I came out of the porta potty there. Where's the white blaze? And I saw one right over there. Always looking around. But there's one right in front and uh let's go climb. While I was swapping out GoPro batteries, I checked out this little information board. The native boat trout is the state fish of New Jersey. And the belted kingfisher competes with anglers for trout. I would love to see one 
And if I could see one catching a trout, I would be so happy. What do you think the chances are? Probably slim. So now before we head into the woods, I was gonna say earlier that the, I'm gonna go up to a ridge and there's supposedly at least one bear that doesn't seem to be too afraid of people up there. Um, my big chance to get a good video of a bear. So many good videos have been coming out. Um, what do you think my chances are of seeing a bear today? I think my chances are high. I think average hiker's chances are high, but I think mine is gonna be lower. We'll see. I'm usually an optimist, but I'm also a realist. And uh, I, have, I can go a pretty long time without seeing a bear, and I try. But we shall see, here we go. There might be some brook trout in here. Maybe little ones. Nice little cascade. It's too bright though for good photos. It always washes out. Oh boy, I missed the 1300 mile marker by... Well, I just realized I was like, isn't it around here somewhere? And it's, I'm 0.7 miles away. <laughs> it's too far to go back. It's all downhill anyway. I guess it was during a climb. So during a climb, I'm pretty focused on just climbing. And I just kept going and I missed it. And it's also a very wide trail because we're still near the parking lot at the base. And there's a lot of day use here. I'll check, I'll show you this trail here. This portion has a little stream going through it. So if you need water and desperate, you can get it here. But I am not. You never know who's peeing off the sides here. Um, so many day hikers. Although I guess when you get to the source, it can be a little cleaner. But it's pretty wide. It's uh, It just started getting really rocky. But overall, it's a pretty nice trail. Easy up. Uh, most of it's been pretty covered but this spot right here is in the sun so i missed the 1300 mile marker drat it's like every other hundred i miss it oh well but we should be hitting a lake soon and that will be my water source drats i'm super happy now although this doesn't make any sense because i think we're overall mile mile past 1300 but check it out i was like why is why are these two pieces of wood here is it marking something like a campsite or something? So when I got here, I looked over and what? That's 1301. I guess it depends on who's the uh, source of the miles, but it's a 1300 mile marker. <laughs> ah, bugs. I hope I never attempted to just make a marker if I pass one by too far, just make it, film it, and then kick it away. <laughs> um, this is a nice one though, get some pictures. We're now at the Sunfish Pond and Natural Area. I'm getting water on the west side. There should be an outlet somewhere. But it's a 41 acre, 41 acre glacial pond, one of the seven natural wonders of New Jersey. Hmm, seven natural wonders of New Jersey. Why is there always seven, huh? Along the trail you pass these beautiful Mount Laurel flowers, pink and white. And this is our first glimpse of the lake. Sunfish Lake, I guess because of its natural acidic composition, they say only hardy fish survive and there's only a couple of different types of fish that they listed anyway. But there's a nice little bench here. There are bugs, but yeah, nice lake. So it's a glacial lake, huh? Always funny when you see a sign that says no swimming and within 50 feet there are people up swimming, making a racket and everything. I was just walking along and anytime I see someone and they're looking at something like off to the side, I'm always like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? And this time it was a snake. Um, there was a woman and a man and they were walking. The woman was in front and she said she almost stepped on it. And it was way in the bushes before I got a chance to look at it. And I recorded a little bit of video. Um, it looked tiny because it was only the very end of the snake. I think it was pretty big. I have no idea what it was. It has no rattle. Um, can anybody identify it by that little bit of tail section that you see? 
Couldn't see the head at all. I stuck around in case he came back or went sideways. I think he just went straight up. I couldn't see anything in the bushes. So. Yeah, I'm really curious now what it was. It's not one of those Masaga or one of those other venomous snakes that are in Pennsylvania. Didn't look like the texture. I don't know what it was. Not a garter. If I was hiking this section in the fall, maybe not even fall, I would be going so slowly. In fact, I do believe there's our blueberries popping up right there, except they're green right now. But I think these are all blueberry bushes just all around. There's a ton of them around that lake. Just so many and it's constant. So many. I mean, it would slow me down so much. Just eating blueberries nonstop. I used to wonder how many blueberries it would take before I get a tummy ache. Never did find out. Here we are to another clearing from a power lines. And it looks like it's quite a view. Wow, there's nothing to the left. Just mountains of trees, little buildings here and there. But I believe north is Pennsylvania. I'm not sure how far. And then southeast is New Jersey. It's all New Jersey. When I think of New Jersey, I used to never think they were like woods and mountains. I just think of stuff that's on TV. <laughs> Not so good things. I know better now. By the way, I'm wearing a hat like this to block the sun. It's because it's coming from my left rear. Helps block my ear a little. Oh, shade. Whew. We've been in the sun for quite a bit today. I didn't realize once you finish the climb, so much of the trails in the sun. I, my sister mailed me a couple of pockies. They're, they come in boxes. Um, I ate one in a hotel, but uh, it was kind of melted together. They're all chunked up. I had to break them apart. Um, and even then I broke them sideways, like horizontally, not longitudinally. But um, I have a strawberry pocky. I put it in the mesh because I didn't think it would be in the shade. Or in the sun so much, I thought we'd be in the shade again a lot, just like previous several days. <laughs> I think they're gonna be a gooey melted mess by now, but I was gonna eat it tonight just because I can get rid of garbage at the campsite. We'll see what it looks like. I read about this earlier, but this is actually quite surprising. This is Raccoon Ridge. Um, I guess it's the start of it, I don't know. But uh, in Far Out, it actually calls this a large pile of rocks. But it's probably one of the best views we've had in a very long time. It's actually 360 views. Lots of grass. Wow. Yeah, it's 360 views. Let's get up here. I suppose I should check for copperheads first, huh? Wow. Wow, look at the river down there. Too busy looking for snakes that uh, I didn't look, but beautiful views. Here's the big pile of rocks and uh, the trail where we came from. It looks like we have an antenna tower over there, big ridge, and look at that lake and some kind of, I don't know, water or something facility, rectangular lakes over there, man made. Wow, and there's another lake over there, lots of lakes. Whew. 360 views. The sun doesn't feel as bad with this breeze. It's quite nice up here. Wow. I know we're back in the woods, but yeah, pretty nice views up here. Great spot. Great spot when the weather's nice. Wow. All right, let's mosey along. I think we got three more miles to go.
I kind of locked out. I was coming from the other side and this porcupine climbed this tree and he's sitting right there, not too far away. And uh, he was in the clear so I could see him pretty easily. And um, he kept, it looked like he was contemplating coming down. So I've been stepping, stepping back further and further just to kind of give him room. So he relaxes, maybe he comes down. I took a lot of photos and videos. I think I took enough, spent a lot of time and he probably wants to get on his way as well, so I'll even be. You can barely see him on a GoPro, right? <laughs> but he's a, he's a cutie. He's doing this little like, like he's singing or talking, yet he can't make any noise or something. But he's a big old porcupine. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Let him be, do his little thing. I think I've been getting better and better at spotting coolers from far away. Far away. This is a big one. We should be at a road where we're going to turn off and go to the campground. I'm pretty tired. I'll tell you why in a bit here. Let's see what's in here. Trail Angels. Walnut Valley United Methodist Church. It looks like a two-handed one. With the open. Oops. <laughs> well, that's how you get your hands free. Drop your trekking poles. See what we got. Oh uh, yeah. Miscellaneous items. Toilet paper sunscreen. That's <laughs> yeah, funny. Alright, thanks. United Methodist Church. I'll keep going. Of course, there's tons of good flowing water right at the road <laughs> before we get to the campsite. Um, well I'm gonna go to the campsite anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it is a road. We do have to go up though. I don't know how steep it's gonna be, but it's, it's a road, so it can't be too bad. The mosquitoes are bad outside, so I'm gonna eat in here. Just be really careful. Let's see what the sandwich looks like. Oh, everything's harder one-handed. Wow, there's an apple in there. Wow. Super nice. And a cheese stick. Um, when I was ordering it, I had the option of choosing just a sandwich and chips, or the full grain, like full meal. I just chose just sandwich and chips. Um, I ate my chips already. I had no idea she got this. I think I was super nice, and I thanked her a bunch of times. I wonder if she just tossed it in because I was real nice. It pays me nice sometimes, you know. Now I'm going to eat all this. Oh, it's a big sandwich. It's not bad for $12. You get chips and this. And I bought a Coke separately. Um, yeah, all right, let's eat. Holy cow, this thing is huge. Worth, well worth $12. Shoot sourdough and it's heavy too. I thought it was heavy. She was super nice. Such a nice person. Wow, so much everything. I'm going to be full after this. I was going to eat a regular backpacking meal after this. Um, but maybe I won't. Alright, I'm walking to the shower. It's a little after 7. It's cooler now, so I won't sweat on the way back. I'm just going to walk casually. It's a little rocky and rooty on the way out. Um, here are my essentials. My little towel I use to wipe down condensation and things like that. Um, it's just like a tiny little towel. And a bar of soap I took from the hotel. So I can be clean. Also my fanny pack and my camera because I'll never leave those somewhere. I guess um, I was talking to Sleepy. He showed up at Stroudsburg. Yeah, at the Outfitter and I guess he was staying at a, hotel, or a church there and they had some pot lunch and 40 other hikers were there and uh, he had his wallet stolen. Um, and a couple other hikers had stuff stolen too, like money out of their wallets, I assume, but they left them. So there's a little something seedy going on. So I'm taking all my valuables. I guess the one thing that's super valuable I left behind is the two terabyte hard drive. Pretty important, but I don't think they'll steal a miscellaneous bag. Mostly wallet, this cameras, expensive stuff. Okay, I'm not even out on the road yet, so I still have more than quarter mile left to go. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Fortunately it's just a gravel road. I am wearing my camp shoes. 
if I can't really walk as fast as I should be able to. Behind the rec hall, we have two showers. I'm going to shower in this one because this one has a bunch of soap in it, oddly enough. Maybe I'll use that loofah. Maybe. How do I look? All refreshed. I didn't use that loofah though, but I did use that body wash quite a bit. Tight shower like that, I usually just turn off the water and then just soap up. Because it seems like if the water is running, it just washes all the soap off right away. So, turn off the water. I guess it's like a navy shower. Turn it off, lather up, turn it on, rinse. So, that's the rest or rec area or rec hall. The hall is closed right now, so it's the uh, showers in the back. But it's pretty nice actually. I mean, the water was hot. Good pressure. I mean, it's not hotel pressure, but it was pretty good pressure. Clean. And the soap there was pretty nice. The body wash, shampoo, smelled pretty good. Um, it was Nivea for men or something like that. Is that what it was? But anyway, I'm gonna go back and uh, try to eat some of my other food. <laughs> I'm looking at a couple of geese over there. Uh oh, they're starting to make motions towards me. They're doing that. Earlier there were only two geese there, but now there's four. And there was only one gosling, but now there seems to be a whole bunch. I hope they don't try to get in front of me. So anyway, it's nice and cool now, so I'm gonna try to walk slowly so I don't sweat anymore. It's a downhill walk, so it shouldn't be too bad. Pretty good day overall. Got to see a porcupine. And the beauty is he climbed up this little tree and it touched another tree, a bigger tree. And it looked like he was thinking about climbing up the bigger one. But he stayed on the smaller one, so it was relatively low. And he just hung out there. He wasn't too scared of me. Um, even for a while, I saw him, his eyes like, and then he put his head down to go to sleep up in the tree. But it's funny is that porcupine was maybe nine, 10 feet up off the ground, right next to the trail. And anybody walking by would probably not notice it just because you're looking at the rocks so you don't hurt your feet. He was right there, big, porcupine what a good day got to see a little portion of a snake and a porcupine no bear though sadly the lady who checked me in she said that there was a bear spotting but shouldn't worry about it and um it's funny as as i was walking here she was driving away and <laughs> she's like you still need a towel and i said no i'll use this little thing <laughs> and she just laughed shook her head and here she said here take this i found this so she gave me a towel to use. Super soft one too. It's actually a really nice towel. So I guess she felt pity for my little <laughs> hiker towel. There's a lake here and there's a little boat dock coming up. A lot of mosquitoes here, so I'm just gonna keep moving. But yeah, I guess they, uh, that's why they have all these life jackets drying out in the front. You must rent kayaks for people to kayak around. There's the boat dock. I might close up the video tonight, folks. Um, that's pretty much it. When I get back to the campsite, there's going to be other people there, so I don't want to talk. And I really should eat a, a full dinner because I'm actually a little hungry already, even with the big sandwich. And uh, I'll just work on some videos. I'm super on the edge with my videos. I haven't been able to get a good buffer in. And uh, I'm going to have to edit tonight. The nice thing is I only have to do maybe 14 miles tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is um, edit tonight, go to sleep, reasonable time. And then tomorrow morning I'll just uh, pack everything up and go to the hiker lounge and just edit there. There's Wi-Fi there, but it's super slow, so I'm not going to upload. But I can at least sit there and edit, message Tina, stuff like that. But not bad. I'm only doing 14 because I am going to stay at High Point Shelter on Wednesday. And there, uh, a couple of viewers slash Patreon members are going to come show up with a resupply bag. <laughs> so nice of them, Jane and Brian. Um, I don't know. I've been treated too well. <laughs> too well. But. Yeah, they're going to come meet me there, and then uh, I'll just stay there overnight. And the next day, I'll drive past, well, hike past Unionville. I have to try to figure out some place. I think I might go into Unionville and just upload whatever videos I wind up editing tonight and tomorrow. But 
lots to do, lots to do. Oh yeah, I forgot to close out the video. <laughs> well, tonight, saying goodbye here at Mohican Outdoor Center. It's like the Appalachian Mohican Outdoor Center. You all have a good night and a good day tomorrow. And thank you for watching the video and thanks everybody for all your support and viewership and comments. It means the world to me. I never realized that um, I would get so many subscribers and viewers and the viewers are all so appreciative. Even people that just walk right on by and they're like, oh, they recognize me. And um, even that young kid, Max, who gave me a Coke. I didn't think too many young people watch my videos and it's uh, it's all very surprising to me. It's all very surprising. I wasn't expecting that at all. So thank you and you all have a good night. Bye. Yeah, I'm looking for bears. Thank you.